If you plan on voting in the city of Knoxville primary races, you have until Tuesday to make up your mind. But if you plan to vote early, uh, you have about an hour or so. That's right. Uh, the polls closing at those five early voting locations at 7 o'clock tonight. On Election Day, you will have to go to the polling location that you are assigned to. Something to keep in mind, everyone. Well, new here at 6, reporter Blake Stevens joins us now live from the Downtown West voting location. Yeah, Blake, as folks are getting off of work, you're sure to see turnout out there hopefully yeah. pick up, right? Yeah, we're, we're really seeing what we've seen all day, which is a steady uh, flow of voters. And I want to give you guys an update. Around 3 o'clock, I told you the count was at around 925. Well, I just heard from uh, the elections administrator, uh, Clifford Rogers, we were at 1570. He says, fantastic day. I did a little math before we went on. If you add that to what had already been cast, a little over 8,300 votes, we're nearly at 11% of active voters in the city participating in this primary. I talked to some of the candidates and some of the voters about why today is so important. Take a listen. Early voting wrapping up tonight and Knoxville getting closer to new leadership. Some of the zoning things that come along and some of the uh, uh, decisions that are made regarding roads and schools and things like that, I think will probably be at the top of the list. Affordable housing and homelessness and um, gun violence. I don't want them just to pay attention to West Knoxville because that's where the money is and I'll be honest, we're okay here. Those are some of the issues bringing people to the polls. Candidates for mayor making every second and every vote count. Councilman Marshall Stair spending a rainy morning inside making calls, hoping his public service convinces voters to support him. You put yourself out there, um, you put your message, and now it's a time for the voters to, to have their say. So. We're looking forward to it. We feel great about it, uh, but we know there's a lot of hard work today and uh, through next Tuesday. Eddie Manis visiting volunteers, even putting out signs this morning, hoping his business and public experience help carry him into the general election. But to be an effective mayor, you have to have the mind of a CEO and the heart of a social worker. And I try to live by those words, and I think that, that really nothing puts it into more perspective than those words. India can cannon listening to the concerns of undecided voters. The one on this call is in her 80s, and after the call is supporting Ken Cannon. Well, people know that the mayor doesn't have a magic wand to fix poverty. The mayor doesn't have a magic wand to fix the opioid epidemic, but they do want someone who cares. And they want someone who has the collaborative spirit to get things done. Calvin Taylor Skinner stopping by the Love Kitchen early voting location, thanking supporters and making sure everyone votes. There's a renewed sense of energy. Uh, typically, folks aren't involved at the local level when it comes to voting. So to have people wanting to be engaged in this way is an awesome feeling. And hey, guys, I actually just got off the phone with Fletcher Burkhardt, also running for mayor. He tells me he, too, has been on the phone texting uh, supporters, reminding them to get to the polls. And he also, he's excited. He says he's heard from a lot of first-time voters today. I was ha uh, not, however, able to get in touch with Michael Andrews, the sixth candidate for mayor. Just a reminder about what's at stake in this early election. It effectively narrows down that city council race with five candidates down to two and the race for mayor from six to two. But if someone one gets more than 50% of the votes, they become our city's next mayor. We're live in Knoxville. Blake Stevens, WATE, 6 on your side. All right, Blake, thank you. And we have everything you need to know about the upcoming city races. That's right. You can find it all on our website, everyone, WATE.com. You can take a look at each of the individual candidates. We also have a link to help you figure out where you need to vote in the general election, right in your neighborhood. You just put in your address, and it will tell you what precinct you belong to.